Okay. Silver coating. We painted, I painted this whole roof yesterday. It's almost uh, 10,000, 20,000, 25,000 square feet. Almost got it done. We worked until 10 last night, me and my wife. And, uh, and that's what you see, silver coating. Now, we, a few sections we didn't do last night and I'm gonna tell you the reason. Let me explain to you about silver coating. Silver coating is to seal the roof and protect it from ultraviolet and heat. Just right now, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, it's like 85 degrees outside. Let me show you the difference. So, I think you can see that. You see that? It's like 140 degrees right now on the roof. It's going up already, okay? 140, somewhere there. The silver coating we applied yesterday, what is it? 80. 83, 82, somewhere there. You get an idea. It is almost a 60 degrees difference. It gets worse during the day. It goes to 180 degrees, somewhere there. 170, 175, thing. Okay, 174. Okay easily on a when it's only about 90 to 90 it's going to be 100 degrees today in, in, in virginia anyway that's one reason you want to protect it from ultraviolet let me show you what ultraviolet does um we've coated most of it but ultraviolet causes the spider cracks now i don't see them very well here because this is a but you see the spider cracks eh? spider cracks now, when you get spider cracks like that on a roof, it's, it's because the ultraviolet is eating on this roof. It's really eat. And then the heat as well dries this out. The sun and UVs are. Look at the cracks on the roof. See how it's crack up? This roof is almost gone. So you want to protect it. You can see the spider cracks more vividly here when, where we did the coating. You see the spider cracks? But the spider cracks are not... The silver coating will not seal the spider cracks. Don't think because you have spider cracks you're gonna paint it. Now, if you paint it very thick, you can see some areas, it's very thick here. Yeah. The spider cracks are covered. But yeah, that will cost you three times as much to do. Uh, we just extended the life of this roof now. Before you can do a silver coating, you also have to make repairs. Don't think you're gonna cover that. If it doesn't sp cover spider crack, it's not gonna cover a hole. Look at a little hole there. See, a nail came through. There's another one about to come through. There's another one there. So there are several holes in this ponding area because it was leaking. But besides that, besides that, we have the seam. That's loose. Look at that. You see the seam? So you got to make repairs. You cannot just coat everything and think it's going to repair everything. So here's how I repair it. Let me show you. <clears throat> if I can get a tripod open. All right, so oh, you want to hold it, sorry. So here's how you repair it. Very, very simple. Get a brush. You see, want to see how fast I can repair a hole? This is the best, best solution. You just smear it in there, put your little fleece over that, and I'm done with the repair. No tools needed. This is called Turbo, Turbo Poly Seal from Bergstrom. I've used this same many times as can, so it's a little bit dirty. Sorry, you cannot see it. But I'm making repairs everywhere. Uh, where's this other one? Is there another one here? Okay. <clears throat> See? Do another one here. That's it. And these repairs, then you can paint over the repair. You can coat now over this. There's always a phone ring when I am doing this. Anyway, let me let me start by. I'm in Virginia right now, so I'll put I'll put you on my list and probably call you next week and start by.
Okay, no problem, Ed. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Bye. To fix this seam, just brush it. Unbelievable product. Beautiful. So, again, you fix the leaks, and then about 20 minutes later, I can spray paint this and coat this with silver coating. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're not real close to here. That's it. But while I'm spraying, very important lesson, let me show you. While I'm spraying, um, you constantly have to mix. Take the mix down. Yes, hold that. Take, take it out. We use a paint mixer like that, but the aluminum goes to the bottom and you constantly have to mix it while you're spraying. Otherwise, you're not gonna get a good uh, solution. And we're using this uh, spray. A Titan, but I don't think smaller would be any good. Uh, this is about the smallest you can get, and uh, it, it moves around the roof easy. I think a slightly bigger one would have been nicer. But anyway, that's the process. I'm using a, <clears throat> I'm using a spray gun with an extension, so I don't have to bend down low to paint it. So, and it's got a 517 nozzle, means. Uh, 17 is the size of the hole which is very open and 5 means the fan so it's 10 inches fan so 10 inches wide that's what you will spray so like that so that's about 10 inches there and that's what you want to spray so you spray one 10 inches and you want to get a nice even coat like that see I make I go I overlap the coats a little bit so to make sure I get a good coat. And then it clogs, you see, there's some impurities. The, the nozzle's not open now. So I have to switch this lever, squeeze the trigger, get the clog out, and then keep spraying. That's how it works. Ah, it clogs again. I open the lever, squeeze it, and keep going. It's the process of silver coating a roof. 